going on crew it's your boy serrano welcome back to the channel thank you for subscribing i just want to give a shout out to all the day ones basically what a day one is someone who rocks with you from the beginning and never leaves your your side you guys are like the foundation underneath the castle so underneath the pyramid so i appreciate every last one of you today we're gonna do a quick trick and tips on how to move and uh, back up your lg stylo 4 or any phone that's basically has this type of format lg or uh the aristo series or you know like the feast the, the fiesta series i don't know how many lgs there are just like the stylo 4 but i know they're all pretty much identical when it comes to software so if this isn't the type of video for you we're going to talk about how to move the apps to the sd card slot and um, back those up or move them to the lg backup and restore program so if, if this isn't for you you could go ahead and click off right now but i definitely appreciate every last one of you for watching my videos so what we're first gonna do is gonna we're gonna put the 64 gigabyte SD card inside of the slot, <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and put the case back on. Now this case, uh, I'm thinking of a number right now. Leave it a number down below, any number between one and 70, because I'm thinking of a number. I want to give away this case. So if the person who comes closest to that number that I'm thinking about right now. Will actually win this case so the first thing you want to do is you want to go into this this button right here just go ahead click that storage and you just want to see that your SD card is being um, read by your by your phone and everything like that so you can see we got a ton of storage right here on my SD card so that's actually pretty cool so what we're gonna go ahead and do is as soon as this thing okay there we go i guess that's the lag everybody was talking about when you're in settings or whatever or like moving in between things and settings it's kind of laggy but uh it's everything's gravy let's jump into this one and we're gonna go into app info so this is the way you would actually move you know like apps and everything like that but right here we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show you how if your phone was running low on storage like mine kind of is right now we're gonna ins insert the SD card slot inside of there and basically what we're gonna do is choose one of the biggest apps on your device and go to storage right down here and then as soon as you go ahead and you click that uh, it's gonna take you to this option you're gonna see the change and then you could just ch click SD card and boom you can see right here it takes about a quick 10 seconds to go over to the SD card but once you go ahead and you hit that you can see that the phone is actually gonna move that application um, to the SD card S uh, micro SD card so basically now I just freed up a ton of storage on my device we're gonna follow suit with PUBG which is actually really big as well pause and then we could click right here and go to select and then move it and everything is smooth as butter so now that the PUBG is moving we're gonna go ahead and wait for that to load let me just drink a sip of water all right so that's actually finished so that's actually the first way you would move pictures well, this is how you would move apps now i'm going to show you how you can move pictures files uh and your settings everything that, that all the things that you see your phone is currently locked in on right now you can actually back everything up the way it is so all you would need to do is go into uh, more about phone and everything like that and then click backup and then after you click backup let me just uh show you right here this button right here go ahead click that you definitely want to hit that i definitely love the og stylo pen you can't do nothing like um 
that just has this built-in feature so it's easy for me to show you guys how you do that but if you click that then you hit this one you can see that says backup that says restore on the right but you're going to click backup on the left and just wait for that to load and then this is where all the um milk and cookies is at right here this is where every all the this is where the sweet part is so um we're gonna go ahead um let me just see i got some notifications here let me see you could also get got that file sharing mode but we're, we're gonna probably talk about that later but let's go ahead click that and then right up top here you get the option to back up to your internal storage which we don't want to do or your SD card so if you your phone had a ton of internal storage you could back it up to the SD card um, I mean the, the internal storage but in this case I have a substantially large SD card pause and we're gonna go ahead and move whatever we so desire to there so you can see it when I click these different features right here you can see it tells you exactly how much memory is to being taken up and then it tells you exactly what you can actually back up and restore which is pretty much every single last thing which is kind of a perk about this device is that it has this thing built in and um other phones have like google but lg has their own thing right here which is definitely pretty cool like a little software built in so you can just highlight um, whatever you so desire right here and you can see you could choose um, whatever you so please and then you go ahead and click start and you do get the ability to just change with the destination of where you want that information to actually end up but uh, you can see right here we're going to deselect everything and just go ahead and press uh, back up but you can see right here it does say like um, basically when you back up like when you reset re factory reset your device like you want to back that up like before you actually do that or whatever so that's like important that's really important because then you'll lose like everything so if you're like me and you take a ton of video and a ton of um, photo and like just you, you just have like you, you, you're ambushing your memory card right now because you're taking so many shots then this is like the, the, the option that you should definitely take advantage of and then let me just get out of here because that was taking dumb long let me see cancel but i'm sure it would take probably like and like at least give yourself 45 minutes for everything to move over there because that thing was taking dumb long i didn't have the patience to like wait for it to finish but you can see right here this is the meat and potatoes right here which basically means this is the good part so um you know definitely thought that was pretty cool um if you didn't know about this tip i definitely wanted to put it out there i make a lot of i make a video about how to do this with every stylo device i did it with the, the two plus i did it with the three uh plus and now we're gonna do it with the four. So you could definitely check out the catalog of videos that I made just for you and check out more videos just like this and subscribe and get notified and click the bell as well. But uh, thank you for staying locked in. I appreciate all the day ones. Welcome to the crew if you're actually new and uh, make sure you subscribe, but, but I appreciate every last one of you. Uh, but it's your boy Serrano. Thank you guys for checking out this video. On the bottom left or right hand corner will be another video that I made just for you. But later crew, I'll check you guys on the next one. Uh, but make sure you show some love by hitting that like button. And uh, I'm checking out. Peace. Later crew.